Like all of you, I've been deeply affected by the Fukushima accident. But I'm here to tell you today that Japan does not need nuclear power, that renewable energy can provide the same functionality, the same reliability, and the same support for Japan's economy that nuclear can. <coughs> We're just not thinking about this in the right way. Our thinking about renewable energy is from 1995, not today, 2013. Our thinking is out of date with the reality of where renewable energy markets, policies, investments, costs, and technologies are today and where they're going in the future. <coughs> I've been working in the field of renewable energy for the past 25 years, really since the very beginning of the industry itself. <coughs> I started as an engineer for the power company Pacific Gas and Electric in California, and I worked on one of the very first large-scale solar power plants in the world. And I looked at that plant and I said, that is the future. In 1989, when I was 27 years old, I went to a lecture at the Holiday Inn Hotel in San Francisco by a very famous energy and environment expert, John Holdren. And he told us, we're running out of time. Well, that was 1989 we were running out of time. We're certainly running out of time today. <clears throat> at that time, I decided to de devote my entire life to seeing the world powered by renewable energy in the future. <clears throat> So I became an expert, a global expert, in renewable energy. <clears throat> I got a PhD in economics and policy. I worked for the World Bank. <clears throat> I've taught at several universities. I wrote 70 publications on renewable energy. <clears throat> the last two years, I've been intensively looking at the future of renewable energy. I traveled around the world, and I interviewed personally 150 leading experts and industry executives. And I asked them the question, how do you see the future of renewable energy. <clears throat> and I also looked at the results of thousands of pages of energy scenarios. And I put all that together into a 40-page uh, synthesis called the REN21 Renewables Global Futures Report. And you can find a copy on the web. You can download it. There's also a Japanese translation now. This is probably the most difficult thing I've ever done, probably also the best. <clears throat> so <clears throat> in writing that report, uh, I was struck by a number of myths about uh, renewable energy that persist here in Japan today that are simply not true. <clears throat> it's a myth that renewable energy will never achieve high shares. Not true. Countries around the world today are planning shares between 30 and 80 percent of their electricity in the future. California, 33 percent. Germany, 50 percent in the next 20 years. Denmark, 100 percent in the next 20 years. <clears throat> Even developing countries, many developing countries, are now pl planning high shares of renewable energy. <clears throat> Japan, right now, is, is stuck at uh, 10 percent. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's a myth that investment in renewable energy will never reach high levels. Not true. Investment globally today is $250 billion per year in renewable energy. That's more than the world invests in fossil fuels and nuclear power combined. So renewable energy is now the majority of investment globally in the power sector. You are probably shocked to learn that. And projections are that this will reach $500 billion in the next 10 to 15 years. <laughs> It's a myth that we can't balance the variability of wind and solar power on our power grids. <clears throat> Not true. Yes, energy storage is, is necessary, but there are so many other options. There are a dozen other options for balancing the variability of renewables on power grids without resorting to expensive energy storage. <clears throat> It's a myth that business opportunities for renewable energy only exist in wind and solar manufacturing companies. Not true. I was shocked to see all of the business opportunities for today's existing companies, for power companies, for automakers, for oil companies, for building material manufacturers, and for information technology companies, IT companies. <coughs> it's a myth that renewable energy is too expensive. Not true. <coughs> the cost of solar panels is now one-third of what it was just four years ago. And we're seeing an explosion of solar power around the world at places where the cost of solar power is no more than retail electricity prices without any subsidies. Wind is becoming competitive in many places in the US with gas and coal. We're just not thinking about the comparisons, the cost comparisons in the right way. It's our thinking that makes renewable energy seem more expensive, not the technology itself. <coughs> 
So I'd been here in Japan for um, five years now. I've been living here. And I came to Asia. I, I lived in China first. I came to Asia in 2005 because I saw Asia leading the world in renewable energy, Japan, China, and other parts of Asia. And I wanted to be a part of that. I wanted to contribute to that. <coughs> When Fukushima happened, of course, it was a tragedy, but I also saw it as an opportunity. Now things can really start to change, I thought. And Japan really could become a leader in renewable energy globally. But today, Japan only invests one-tenth as much as the United States <coughs> in renewable energy. <coughs> so what can we do? <coughs> well, we can buy green power. That's a, a movement, a trend that's happening around the world. Many people are buying green power, and you can read about that on the web. There's a lot of information resources. You can certainly put solar panels on the rooftop. Solar is now a lot cheaper than it was even just a couple of years ago. I live in uh, Takao, actually, here in, in Tokyo. And when I ride the Chuo Line train, and I look out on that sea of rooftops, and I and imagine to myself a solar panel on every single rooftop that you can see. And I think in 10 years from now, if we see a rooftop without a solar panel on it, it's going to seem strange to us. It's going to seem almost naked somehow. <clears throat> we can uh, engage in community development of community power and heating systems. That's microgrids and solar heating for groups of buildings and homes. <clears throat> we can um, engage in citizen-owned wind farms. There are examples of all of these uh, around the world. <clears throat> And we can learn from uh, books and from movies. There's a really interesting book that was published last year in Japanese called Let's Start a Revolution in Renewable Energy. <coughs> there are a variety of movies, and I have some links on my website if you go to there. Uh, <coughs> there's a particular movie called Power to the People that's coming out this year that's dubbed in Japanese. And I think that's a very interesting title, Power to the People. It reminds me of what we used to say in the 1960s. Uh, <coughs> and it has a different meaning now, but power to the people. <coughs> I actually grew up in the 1960s around hippies, and that was, that was a whole, I remember that phrase back then, power to the people. <coughs> <coughs> There's a fundamental problem, however, <coughs> that we're going to face. Utilities, utility companies, utility grids, utility uh, industries are going to have to change in the coming years. Their business models, their ways of thinking, the whole structure is going to have to change. And people are waking up to this, they're realizing this in Europe and the United States. We can't keep going <coughs> the way uh, we're going. It, there is going to have to be a, a transformation. <coughs> Japan's electric power sector, Japan's utilities, have really not changed at all in the last 50 years. <coughs> Japan's utilities are uh, practically dinosaurs uh, in, in comparison to uh, utility companies around the world today. <coughs> and uh, we don't see uh, the changes happening here. So <coughs> it's really important that, that, that the next thing that happened here in Japan is that we see uh, restructuring, new policies, new regulation, new industry structure. Uh, new forms of business models here in Japan in, in the power sector. Otherwise, renewable energy is simply not going to happen in large shales. This is the fundamental problem that we're facing here in Japan as well as around the world. <laughs> in Germany today, or last year, there were days when solar power provided 50% of the total daytime power during peak times of the day. Solar power is providing 50% of the power in Germany. Germany is going to have to deal with that. They, they're facing changes necessary in their power sector, their power companies today, right now. <coughs> so <coughs> we need to find a way here in Japan to bring democracy and choice to the power sector through the political process, through local community action, <coughs> through, uh, through social networking, through our, our purchasing choices. <coughs> if Japan doesn't do that, it's going to be left behind. <coughs> There's a really interesting example here in Setagaya City in Tokyo. The mayor has uh, pushed for choice and for alternative supply of electricity, and he's, he's pushing for choice and reforms in, 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 the, in the local power situation. And I think you can follow that example, and you can contact your own mayor to, to learn from what's happened in Setagaya and other local communities around Japan. <coughs> so we owe it to our children to do better. We owe it to our children to do better. I'm very worried about nuclear waste. I'm very worried about 
uh, leaving that waste for generations of children to come, then their children. I'm very worried about uh, nuclear accident safety. <coughs> we owe it to our children to do better. <coughs> Japan does not need nuclear power. Renewable energy can do what nuclear is doing. However, <coughs> renewable energy is fundamentally a choice, not a foregone conclusion based on technical and economic <coughs> circumstances. Renewable energy is not going to happen by magic. It's a choice we're going to have to make. So please join me in leading Japan and the world into a renewable energy future. Choose renewable energy. Thank you. <laughs>